Hi, Diane here, and I am coming to you from my parents' spare bedroom. I have been in Pennsylvania for less than 24 hours. I have already had two slices of lemon meringue pie. I have already had a handful of pretzels, and I've bought nine yards of fabric. So, welcome home. <laughs> so, today's video, I am going to talk about re my relaunch of the Sylvia Stryker Mysteries kind of generally because when I got the idea to do the relaunch, I really didn't know what was involved in it. And it's been a learning experience and I'm really happy that I made this decision, but I know that it started out seeming like a pretty easy project and it's turned into a much bigger project. So here's kind of how it's gone so far. When I first got the idea, as I talked about in a previous video, it had to do with when the first book came out, she kind of got lost in the algorithms of sci-fi and space opera, and she never really found her way into cozy mystery because the book didn't look like a cozy mystery, so I think she got a little lost. Now, I kind of pulled back. So my original plan was, let's just be really clear about the fact that this is a humorous mystery. That's, that's what it is. Let's just be honest. So pulled it, and I thought, I'm going to redo the cover. I'm going to repackage it. I also wrote book two and I thought, okay, so I'll have two books. So that's good. And then eventually there will be three. And I started thinking, well, why does it have to be eventually? Why don't I just go ahead and write book three now? So that's what I'm working on at the moment. So there will be the book one that's already been out. That's going to have the relaunch. There will be book two and there will be book three all by the end of the year. And I actually feel confident enough that I'm going to say <laughs> that it's going to be by the end of September, you'll have all three books because I'm, you know, that's what happens when I have all that lemon meringue pie. So, um, I, so that was the plan, new cover. So when I started riffing on concepts for titles for book two and book three, I realized I had, I ended up with a whole list of titles I really liked, but they didn't fit with book one. So I thought about a new title for book one and I had a couple and I chose one. So now we got new packaging and new title. Then I started looking at the series title, which originally was Sylvia Stryker, Outer Space Mysteries. And I asked some of my readers on Facebook, um, for, I gave them a poll, I gave them a couple of different suggestions, they know what I'm working on. And I said like, what do you guys think? And there was one clear winner and it was not Sylvia Stryker, Outer Space Mysteries. So now we're gonna have a new series title as well. So what started out, oh, there's a weird bug out there. Huh, I'm glad I'm inside these windows. I don't know if that's gonna make the final cut or not, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm facing a window so I can, I'm kind of staring at it outdoors, the neighbors, because I needed the light because I don't have my light kit here and I wasn't going to travel with that. Anyway, I digress. Um, yes. So it started out as just a repackaging. It's turned into kind of a complete overhaul, but it's also been a very energizing thing because I like the, I like the concept so much and I'm having so much fun with the actual books. And now that I've just embraced the fact that these are humorous books, that makes it more fun to write. Um, I know some people originally said, eh, you know, sci-fi is not my bag. And I totally get that. But I will also say that this is kind of like, if you enjoy funny outer space movies, this is kind of that language. So I try to be accurate with my science. So I am checking facts to make sure that I'm, if I'm mentioning an element, that it actually does what I say the element does. But it's not um, completely, it doesn't fall into that uh, rabbit hole black hole, I should probably say, because it's, that's not really me and that's not really what I write and that's not really my strength. So I'm playing to my strengths on this one and I'm kind of staying in my own wheelhouse of doing what I already do, but doing it in outer space with a different character than Samantha and Madison and Polly and Margot, because they wanted a friend who had a really exciting life up there in the sky in the future. Anyway, this is kind of turned into some crazy video. I don't even know if this is the take that's going to stick, but it might be because this is the fourth time I've recorded it. And you know, after a while, it, I just get a little punchy. So there you go. That is kind of part one of the relaunch. New cover, new title, new series um, title. The book, first book will be the same book. Um, and it, the first book should be back in August with the second book about two weeks later. And then the third book will be available for pre-order and will be out about a month after that. So I will be back with part two where you'll get to see what the books look like and you'll get to hear a little bit more about the final product. Okay, thanks for watching.